Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm mentioning you guys that hope you resolve if you're having an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads that you do not have sufficient access to uninstall. Please contact your system administrator. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best match, you'll come back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Should be a policies folder. Double click on it. And Microsoft, double click on that as well. Should be a Windows folder, double click on that. And then finally, there should be an installer folder listed in here. If you do not see one, you're going to have to right click on the Windows folder, select new, and then select key. Name this key installer, and then hit enter. And now on the right side, you're going to right click in a blank area, select new. DWIRT 32-bit value, name this value, disable, and then capital letters, MSI. So again, the D and disable should be capitalized, and then the MSI, all three of those letters should be capital as well. Hit enter. And now you want to double click on it. Make sure it's set to zero in the value data field. Select OK. However, just want to give you guys a heads up here. If you want to always have it on, you'd set it to zero. One, if you delete the zero, type number one. That's for non-managed applications only. And two would be never. So basically, you have a few different options there. For the purpose of this video, you want to set it to zero. And then two would be the opposite. And then one is for non-managed applications only. Select OK. And then once that is done, you will need to restart the computer in order for the changes to take effect. So let's go ahead and just restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.